Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. Well, I'm in the Lowe's parking lot because so many of y'all has said that I need to get Luba a little house to live in. So we're going to go inside Lowe's and see what we can find. Guys, this isn't going good. I've walked everywhere in this Lowe's and I cannot find plastic window wells anywhere. That's what I was thinking. We were going to use plastic window wells, but... I guess that down here in the south, uh, we don't have basements much, so they might not stock window wells for the basement. Window. Hmm. This may be a bust. A nice Lowe's associate saw me walking around with a big question mark on my face, so they asked me if they, I needed help. And we looked on the computer, and sure enough, no basement window wells here. So... Either I'll have to order it and have it shipped, or I could get a dog house. That's another option. Maybe get a dog house and reshape it to fit Luba. But there's also another thing we're going to do today in this episode. I heard some rumors. Let's go find out what the rumors were. Before we get to those rumors, let me show you what I'm trying to do here. So you can see this window well on the screen, 24 inches high, 12 deep, 37 wide. Now, if you think about my Luba, here's the ultimate goal to my idea. So this will be only 12 inches tall, and that's a problem because Luba is about 15 inches tall with my camera-ish around that area. So I will have to probably add bricks to the 24 inch side here to make it a little bit taller. But looky there, that's just a Luba carport repurposed. The thing is only 37 bucks and that's not bad at all. The original idea was to put it on the ground and just use stakes or something to hold it down. But now that I have to build it up a little bit, I will have to come up with a way to attach this luba carport to the bricks i don't know if i'm going to glue it or what but i'll find a way maybe i'll just put a brick on top to hold it down <laughs> that would be the really southern cheap way to do it so let's get back to the video and let me tell you about this rumor i heard online now let me tell you about this rumor i heard i'll post it up here on the side of the screen now i don't know if this is true or not but it would be certainly cool if it is true that the Luba 5000 is going to get more mowing area. Now the rumor says that it's coming in the July update and it just so happens my watch tells me that it's July 2nd today and I have an update pending. So we're going to go ahead and install this update and I'm going to see if I can add more area to my map because right now my map is basically maxed out. I have the 1.25 acres, 5,000 square meters already mapped out, and I can't put any more. So let's do this update and then see if we can't squeeze any more area out of Luba and see if this rumor is true. So you join me here in the Luba app. Let's see what we need to do is do this update. And it says it fixes an issue that may cause constant abnormal lift motor error. So I've never had this one, luckily, and it doesn't say anything about adding area to the map. You would think if that was true, they would have advertised that because that's a big deal. But, you know, sometimes they can add stuff in the background and they don't tell you because they want to test it first. So let's see what we can do here. We're going to say one click upgrade and we are going to let this upgrade. I'm trying to find a way to do a screen recording and use my phone's camera at the same time. We're gonna to try to make an area here. Oh, we gotta do the automatic pile down. All right, so I want to go way over there and see if we can add some more to this map. So here we go. This is kind of weird to, because I can't block the, I can't hold my phone right because then I'll be blocking the camera. So there's a space over here that my mom wants added to the map. 
if we can. So let's create task area. We're not out of the area yet. Okay, now we're out of the area. Create task area. Producing Luba. Yes. You're I know about the how to do this. All right. So we're just going to add um, this area here and see if we can without running out of space in the memory. We're under a bunch of canopy here. It may say that. We'll just have to wait for it if it does. I really missed that turn. Kind of got a little bit too wide. But this is just more of an experiment right now. So now we are out into the original zone. We're going to make a nice tight turn here. Oh, you can't see where we are on the map. There you go. Oh no. I might have hit the flowers. <laughs> Luba may hit that when it mows. I got way too close. Wasn't paying attention. So it let me add that area back into full screen here on Luba. So now you can see that there's my areas and we have a little bit of overlap. So let's add up all the areas now. One, two, three, four, five. Back door motion. Uh, my mom just came out the back door. Six, seven, eight. It's going to take it forever to calculate this, probably. How many square feet that is. Now, remember, so we're over 5,000 square meters while this is calculating. We can ask Google. Hang on. How many square meters is 56,500 feet? 56,500 so, square feet is equivalent to 5,249.022 okay. square meters. Okay, so we're just barely over the limit there. Maybe this is okay. Can we just cancel that? There we go. All right, let's add more. I think we just picked up a stick. Let me tip Luba over. Yep, we picked up a stick. Oh, it's dirty under there. Gonna definitely have to clean Luba. Ha! I set it back down and it automatically cleared that error. I didn't have to hit the go home and start or whatever. So this is where I'm at. I've tried to map this area before. If you remember that video I made, how much is too much. Uh, I couldn't map this area last time. So the area we just added was just a little area right here. So, and we are under a pretty good amount of tree cover. Uh, out there in the middle, there is some gaps with no tree, but it gets pretty thick right here. So let's go ahead and flip back over to Luba. Uh, split screen view with the camera. Let's uh, swap that, make Luba a little bigger, go to video, record that. So we're gonna say edit, modify. Introducing Luba. We know. All right, so here we go. Another reason I don't normally program Luba back here is because there is a lot of sticks around and it's hard to keep this clean of sticks because my dad's in his 80s. He can't just continually come out here and pick up sticks. So it becomes kind of a hazard to Luba. We're gonna cut some of these corners because I can fix it later. Oh, looky there. The area is about to exceed the maximum limit. Let's just turn back towards the starting 
and see if we can make it back to the starting point. I just turned and went straight towards it. Usually when you get this error, it's not going to let you finish. So that tells us right there, they did not upgrade to 10,000 square meters yet. If they are or not, I don't know if that's a true. Planning complete. Click save. Oh, so it let me save it. So let's uh, zoom out here. We'll stop that. Go to full screen. <laughs> we are kind of ticking away here. So let's change Luba to meters before I add this up so we don't have to talk to Google. Okay, nine areas. Let's see, how many meters squared do you think it is? All right, so I've been able to squeeze in 5,420 meters squared, but I don't think I can do any more. It's told me that I'm approaching the limit. So we can try to do another one real quick. I just went underneath a big tree there. I'll show you here in a second where Luba had trouble. We really haven't had that much uh, signal problems here today. Let's see if it allows me to save this. It did. It allowed me to save this. 10 is the limit, right? So let's select all these little areas I have now. Ten. There's ten. Okay, let's see how many meters squared I'm at. It's more than 5420. That's what it just was. Ah, oh, 5509. Let's see if we can add some more. I'm running out of room here to add more pieces. There's where we did our one earlier, over there in that sunspot. Here's where I was just now. And here's that tree that it was under right when it lost signal for like one second. It usually only has problems when there's a big trunk. If it's just general leaves, you're okay. But if it gets underneath a trunk or right, right next to a base of a tree, that's when you run into trouble more often than not. So I guess we'll try to map some of this area now. Let me uh, make Luba's a little bigger. Let's zoom in so we can see where we're at. Oop, I'm on the controls. All right, edit, modify, new task area. Reducing Luba. Maximum number of task areas. It's not gonna let me have more than 10. So now we know. The hard task area limit is 10. Now the size limit, I think is more based on memory space available in the Luba. You saw that I was able to get up to 5,500 square meters and I was getting a warning saying it's just about full. So I was able to squeeze one more in, but because I'm at 10 task areas now, I can't do any more. Whether there's memory space or not, I'm cut off. So obviously, that July update has not happened, or it's not true. I don't know if it's true or not, but it definitely hasn't happened yet if it is true. For those of you curious, here's what it looks like before I clean it. Now this is a couple weeks worth. I haven't been over here in probably more than a week at least, so I'm not sure if my parents clean it, probably not, but this is what it looks like after about a week. cleans up pretty easy. I mean, this isn't even high pressure. This is just spraying it with the regular water pressure. The blades are pretty gummed up, but it's uh, it's coming right out. There you have it. Looks uh, still a little gummed up on the blades, but that's okay. Most of them are gummed in the out direction, so they're still 
they're still cutting. I don't really care if they flop around like they're supposed to. So that's what that's going to look like for now because that's all I'm going to do. Poor Luba's abused. <laughs> so we're going to just tip it back over. Oh man, the camera's pretty dirty. <laughs> Show you how we fix that. Now the camera is nice and clean. All right. Home start. See you later, Luba. <laughs> I'll meet you over there. All right, so we got Luba cleaned up. We've done some experiments today. We know there is not a 10,000 meter limit yet. I don't know if that's true. That would be awesome if it was, but my motion would have to seriously do some the word I'm What's searching for here is app optimization. App emotion would have to considerably, you know, reduce the memory size of mapping requirements in the app. They would have to make it twice as efficient because right now it's filling up with 5,000 square meters and the rumor says 10,000 square meters. So I'm sure they can do it. It would be super awesome if it's true, but we don't know if it's true or not. So this Luba series is turning in more to a, a vlog style life with Luba anymore than it is like a review. So I don't know. But now you know, we are still stuck at 5,500 square meters about. And definitely stuck at 10 zones on the Luba 5000. So thanks for watching this episode and I will see y'all in the next one.